Are you struggling with your serve? Possibly do you serve with the wrong grip? Have you been told that you have the classic waiter, waiter tray position on your serve? Well, in this video, we're gonna go over some really key concepts that are going to help you tremendously fix this waiter tray problem that is pervasive around the world. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, former top 100 ATP pro, super committed to helping players all over the world get the right information, get the right tips, especially on the serve. Now, as the serve surgeon going in with his scalpel, I wanna break this down for you today. On the waiter tray, here's the thing. And I say this all the time in seminars and on the court around the serve. If you have a forehand grip, you're going to have the waiter tray. And again, the waiter tray is when you open up this racket face like this when you make the first move or when you get into your trophy position. This is your waiter tray, like you're holding, like you're, you know, holding some food at a restaurant like this. That's gonna happen if you have a forehand grip. Okay, so think of a semi-western semi grip like this. All right, if I were to hit a forehand with topspin, even an eastern forehand, okay, this is the grip setup. All right, now, you've got to get into a continental grip. There's, there's no way around this. If you have a forehand grip, you will not be able to serve correctly. It doesn't feel right to make the first move on the serve. You will open up that racket face. You will start waiting tables at the restaurant, okay? It's just, it's as simple as that. And most players, Number one, don't wanna put the work in to change their grip from a forehand to a continental. I'm not judging, I'm just observing. I'm saying this is the reality of serves around the world. If you've got that forehand grip, you gotta be willing to change it. And that could be a little bit painful. And it also involves you getting the right drills, the right information, and, and not competing all the time, taking time to develop your game. So we gotta get that grip from a forehand over to a continental. Okay, so this is your continental grip right here. I know this sounds obvious, but I'm still surprised, again, when I teach seminars or when I am on the court, people still think that they have a continental grip. And when I watch them, a lot of times they'll actually toss the ball and they'll change it towards a forehand grip. We gotta stay in that continental grip like this. Okay, so we go from here to here. It's as simple as that. Okay, I'm not gonna get into the bevels today. We gotta keep moving here. Now, the next concept, okay, the next concept is that first move with the arms. And so this classic myth of down together, up together, where, where players move with their arms together like this, and, then, and again, they've got, that, they've got that forehand grip oftentimes, they move with their arms like this. This is how you're gonna get into waiter tray. So what you have to do, you have the continental grip. When you make the first move, I like having players focus on turning the shoulders first, and you'll notice when I turn the shoulders like this, Okay, when I turn the shoulders like this and the tossing arm goes up, the racket arm is a little bit o o uh, lower like this. It's not down together, up together. Okay, so I'm gonna hit a serve right now. And you can see, you can see the difference. If I go with a, if I go with a waiter tray, all right, I'm moving with a forehand grip and I'm moving like this, okay? My racket face is gonna open. If I get into a continental, and I learned to turn like this, okay? I turn, okay, I can find, all right? I can find that first move and I can keep the racket face closed like this in this position. This is the key right here. Look at my shoulders moving, okay? It's not the arms like this. This is what I see all over the world, down together, up together. A lot of players just get that momentum going from this position. They get this arm moving too fast and straight behind them like this. So many serves around the world. There's this, again, this pervasive myth that we have to go down together, up together. We've got to focus on learning how to turn the shoulders. And you can't just get out on the court and start hitting serves expecting you can do it. You've got to use specific drills, okay? Specific drills that can help you. All right, so the third tip is what I call elbow the enemy in the trophy position. It builds on the first move where you're focusing on turning the shoulders, okay? So if you turn the shoulders, and you find trophy position, look at where my elbow is. It's away from my body. Now, a lot of players can't even physically get into that position. They've got restrictions in their shoulder or their back or their hips. So I'm not saying everybody can elbow the enemy as much as I would like to get as much turn as I'd like to see, but certainly 
you can find this position right here. Okay, somewhere where you feel like you're elbowing someone behind you. That's why I call it elbow the enemy. You are elbowing someone right here, a little bit shorter than you, and you're really feeling that. I can't tell you how many times I've been in random places that people have seen me and they've said, your elbow the enemy tip helps so much. All right, so it's as simple as one, two, three. We focus on the grip. We switch from a forehand to a continental. Then we focus on our first move where we move from the shoulders instead of the arms. And then finally, when after we move from the shoulders, we've got to feel the elbow get here because watch what happens if my elbow is in and low. Look what the racket face does. Mr. Waiter is back again. <laughs> we don't want the waiter to come back. All right, we want to elbow the enemy instead of being the waiter. Look at the difference. Here's, here's the waiter tray. Here's elbow the enemy. So you almost have to do the opposite of what you think or what you're doing, where if the racket face is open like this, you have to feel like the racket face closes. Now, this isn't, this isn't what it's going to look like. It's going to feel like this, but you want to feel like the racket face is closed. Okay, when you serve. When I come up, it's probably in this position, but it feels really closed. That's my elbow right there. Boom. That's what we want. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Three tips, the grip, the first move, and the trophy position, elbowing that enemy. That's the beginning stages before you even make contact with the ball, beginning stages of how you can fix that waiter tray. Again, I enjoyed making this video for you today. I've got a free gift for you. If you click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video, you can learn the three myths that are killing serves all over the world. I wanna stop having players making mistakes on their serves, falling for these myths, and get the right information to them. You can click the link below somewhere in the description. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you turn your notifications on. You can get that bell ringing so that you can be updated on all the latest content. We've got great content at Tennis Evolution. We want to help you get to the next level. We're passionate about it. I'm Jeff Salzenstein, again, the founder of Tennis Evolution, bringing this lesson to you today. We'll see you at the next one. Thanks for your time.